That's what the people wanted. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Thank you for joining us today as we talk about some designer decks. I'm your host, Xander, and I'm with the wonderful Tyler Parrott and the amazing Jeremy Zwern. So, you all know that we're going to be doing a little bit of Star Wars Unlimited gameplay today and chatting about uh, some decks that these two put together, as well as Danny, who unfortunately couldn't make it today. He's still on an airplane. He's still on an airplane. Good luck, Danny. Yes, yeah, so we wish him all the luck uh, <laughs> getting back here. But uh, yeah, we're going to be going through a couple decks that these two designed, as well as two uh, that Danny designed. And each of them will get a chance to play one of Danny's decks, and we'll talk about those. And obviously, we're going to show off some preview cards, because that's what uh, a lot of people are here for, right? Obviously. Yeah. So let's start out and talk about Darth Vader, which you all know from the chat beforehand, uh, the poll, that we're going to be playing a Darth Vader deck, and that is Tyler's. Spoiler alert. Uh, so uh, Jeremy and I each brought a deck. The deck that I brought is the deck that I enjoyed playing slash uh, was best with at, at the end of set one, set one design. Uh, this is a Darth Vader trooper deck. Um, so, real quick, uh, this is a deck built around, um, I guess there's no point in putting it on the, on the table because no, they have the, they have the, the, the cute, there, yeah. cute graphic. Um, this deck is all about uh, general tag and precision fire, mostly. Uh, it's also just an aggro deck. We're going to put a bunch of cheap troopers on the board, we're going to attack with them, uh, and we're going to do a lot of damage to the enemy base. You might wonder, why is Darth Vader leading this army? Shouldn't it be, I don't know, Grand Moff Tarkin or somebody? The answer is... Maybe, but uh, a lot of heroic aggro decks play Sabine because she has a leader ability that deals direct damage to the enemy base that the opponent cannot do anything about. You know who else does that? Darth Vader also does that. If I just pay an extra resource every turn, then their base is going to take a damage every turn. Eventually they'll be dead, even if they kill off my board. Uh, also, as this happens somewhat regularly, uh, I put out a bunch of cheap troopers, I do a bunch of damage to the base, eventually they get a board presence, they stabilize, I can't attack their base anymore. Oh, great, good thing I have this 5-8 that they don't have an answer for because they spent all their resources dealing with my swarm of troopers. Uh, it can pivot decently well, but it's mostly an aggro deck. Some highlights, uh, we got two tubes here, and we got Partisan Insurgent. Uh, they're funny because they're rebels in my Imperial Trooper deck. They're good, but it's funny that they're rebels. Um, we got uh, all the we got the whole Imperial package of Snow Trooper Lieutenant, General Veers, uh, Tie Advanced, and I think that's it. Oh, and one Grand Moff Tarkin to draw some cards, just because the Imperial payoffs are strong, uh, and they're strong in an aggressive way. Uh, there's one card that you guys haven't seen before. It's Volunteer Soldier. We'll throw it up on screen real quick. We're going to put it up on the screen. Uh, this is our first neutral card. It has no, no aspects. It can be played in literally any deck. It's probably not good in your deck unless you have troopers. Um, mm -hmm. This is the third trooper payoff uh, in the deck. So this is a two cost, two, three raid one, which is pretty good. That's it. It's just good. <laughs> it, it, it wears experience from, uh, from uh, tag well, and it... Uh, get Saboteur from Precision Fire well. Nice. So this is a very special card, though. This is a true neutral card. Yeah, now everybody's going to look at the card number, and then they're going to do some deduction. Deduction, yeah. <laughs> so a neutral card. This is the first time that we've ever shown this. Why did you include neutral cards in this first set? Like, what? Can you give us a little insight on the design process here of why there's neutral cards at all? Well, sometimes you're drafting, and all the colors that you want or are are not in the pack but there's this bad neutral card, and it can go in any deck. And any deck does include your deck, where you don't have enough cards of your aspect. <laughs> um, that's part of it. Um, and then the other part of it is that if we can make them narrow in a way that isn't based on aspect, right? So this obviously is cares about troopers. If you don't care about troopers, you're not putting this in your deck. But if you do care about troopers, it's worth considering. Um, there are a handful of other neutral cards that are like, well, this isn't for choose your favorite aspect, but it is for choose your favorite other theme. Uh, that's all I'm gonna say on that matter. Cool. So there's the Vader deck. And Jeremy, you're gonna be playing one of our decks. Uh, this is, I believe Chewbacca won the poll. It is, all right. All right, so yeah, here's your Chewy deck. Uh, I know you did not build this, but do you have any insights on how you're gonna be playing Chewy? Any, anything that you're looking for specifically when you look through this deck beforehand? Because we had a little bit of time before we got started. Uh, yeah, this is definitely more of a, a control deck, so. Uh, Tyler's Vader deck will be 
the aggro deck, so I'm going to try to play it for late, late game. And, uh, there's a lot of restore, of course, true bug. I can give Sentinel to cheaper units to try to hold the fort down while I build time to you know resource and get my bigger, more expensive units out there. And yeah, there's quite a decent amount of restore characters to help heal my base. And then, yeah, I got some, some pretty big drops there with um, Redemption and Home One to, to resource up to those units and have those come down and hopefully I can seal the game there if I can last that long until I just have an answer to those big units and take over the game from there. Everybody's excited about Redemption Yeah. for the first time. Uh, yes. Uh, so yeah, we could put Redemption here. Why don't we take Redemption out of there and we use our have fancy huge, new camera. Yeah, use our fancy camera here. We have a huge surprise, which is that these are the real cards. These are not proxies anymore for us. Uh, we have the real product here. So I know that in our hands. In our hands. And I know Tyler was pretty excited this morning about it and came in and asking all the I questions. I got to about touch it. them. So I got to is. touch them with yeah. my fingers. The real thing. Uh, so there's the redemption card for you. And so we can go ahead and get started. I'll give you this card to shuffle back up. So uh, when you were building this deck, there was something interesting that you mentioned that this oh. only uses <laughs> commons, uncommons, and starter cards, right? Uh, I'll, and I'll go even further to say I built the deck because I wanted to build the deck. And then like a couple weeks laugh afterwards, after I had played it a bunch and sort of learned how it, learned how it worked, I was like, ah, out of curiosity, when this game comes out, I wonder how expensive this deck will be to make. Uh, and then I looked at all the cards, and there were zero rares or mythic, zero, zero rares or legendaries in it. Uh, so I just accidentally made a, what I think is quite a good uh, deck that has no rares in it. Nice. So enjoy, audience. You can build a good deck without any rares in it if you want, yeah. like I did. Yeah. I mean, you, well, you have to prove that it's a good deck right now. This excuse you, yeah. excuse you. Hey, it could just be a deck, we don't know. I mean, we call them designer decks, but it could just be something fun, right? So, uh, so. I will say, this deck also has a sideboard that we're not using today for obvious reasons. We're not playing a full set of games. Uh, all of the cards in the sideboard are rares. <laughs> okay, okay. So you could bling it out a little bit. So you could bling it out if you want. Yeah. Cool. And if I really wanted to bling it out, you would have gotten me foils, but I, I wasn't allowed. <laughs> yeah, so I will say that we will not be showing any foil cards off today, just the real product this week, but that's something that you can really look forward to in the new year, and we'll chat a little bit more about that at the end of the stream. Uh, so, are you two ready to rock? Of course. Let's roll. All right, sweet. We're both going to deploy on seven resources, and we're going to hit each other really hard. Fair. Do we want to ask the chat who goes first again? No. No? Does someone have dice? I want to decide randomly. I don't think I have a die. All right. Yeah. Do our favorite shell game. This one? Yes. All right. Give me a second. Jeremy gets to choose, though. You just pick the game. All right. Jeremy goes first. Jeremy goes first. Oh, uh, yeah. Here you go. Ka-chow. Is that upside down? It's what upside down. It's see-through, so I can never tell yeah. which side is the... The side of the side. either way. Okay. Good design. Good design yeah. on that. That it can go either way. All right. Let's get started. All right. Hope these are shuffling up here. Yeah. Right. My deck was organized, but I've yeah. been sitting here shuffling it for the past yeah, minute. You so. Be good. We can go ahead and draw. Yeah. Banana crab shoot gets it. Dice poker to go first. <laughs> uh, set up. We're gonna draw six cards. I'm gonna choose two of them to be resources. Nobody saw that. I want to not have the events, and I do not want to have the expensive cards, and this cool dude doesn't have any support for him, so he's just going to go live in my resources. It is time to begin to, the fight. Do you want to show the camera what you're resourcing, Jeremy? Against good. We're just, here to crush all the all those good people. Yeah, we can just show the top people. down. You can just put it... All right, interesting. Interesting. I, I, I am intrigued by this Chewbacca deck. I mean, we heard big things about yeah, it. Fun to replace for so. Yeah, so we'll, uh, we'll find out. Certain. Note that we're using the two uh, common bases of the two green, green common bases. Yeah. They're not the same, uh, but they are functionally the same. Yeah. So we saw Echo Base. We did that what a couple weeks ago. We showed off Echo so. Base. Yeah. All right, I'll start with the a Battlefield Marine. Really nice two drops. That's a 3-3 three, three with no text. 
That's pretty good. That's pretty good, yeah. <clears throat> Better than my... Actually, I'm going to give it a seven. I'll take that. Sure, Ooh. sure. Uh, <laughs> uh, here's my 2-3 with text. Uh, it's a seasoned short trooper. Uh, I'll take the initiative. And you'll take the initiative. Yep. Uh, we all know what's about to happen is that 3-3 three, three is about to eat my 2-3, but fortunately I have Darth Vader here to help. So we're going to draw me. two cards. We are going to resource this event that I can't play yet. This is a bad start for my Vader deck. That Sentinel in the first round really threw you off, didn't it? Yeah. No, nah, just this 3-3. <laughs> just this 3-3 three, three will defeat my unit. All right, so the 3-3 three, three eats the Season Shore Trooper. He's gone. I'm going to pay two resources for a Snow Trooper Lieutenant. This is a 2-2. Two, two. When I play it, I can attack with another Imperial and give it plus two power. Uh, but I don't have another Imperial because he just died. So he's just a 2-2 two, two with no text. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Yeah, it looks <clears> like <throat> Marine might not be around much longer. Uh, don't worry about it. Yeah, I'm sure he's got a long... A long, healthy life. Defeat, ooh, defeat my lieutenant. Admiral Akbar. So when played, you deal damage to a unit equal to the number of units you control in its arena. So that'd be uh, two. Two units, two damage. He has two health. He dies. Uh, we're going to use Darth Vader. Darth Vader's power is, I can, if I've played a villainous card, I can pay one resource to deal one damage to a unit and one damage to a base. Nice. Uh, Vader is... <clears throat> also included in here for this exact reason of if the opponent is defeating my units, then they're taking damage. And if they end up with not very much health left, Vader can finish them off so that my opponent at least can't generate board advantage over me. Mm -hmm. I'll take initiative. You got it. Uh, we got a question from the chat that about the deck being exactly 50 at the start of the game, right? Uh, yeah, it's, it's exa uh, exactly 50 cards in your deck, correct? Uh, you can have minimum 50. Cards. Minimum 50 cards. But like... Spoiler alert, I'm going to have 50 cards in my deck. Yeah. Unless you're Danny who said, I think Dwarf the Mill players, go 60, not go that. above. Uh, that's a 1-4. I think I can handle a 1-4. All right, you have the initiative, so you get to take the first action. Mm. Let's take your base here, one, restore one. Yep. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, here we go. Uh, I'm going to pay three resources and play General Veers. He's a 3-3 three, three that gives all of my other Imperials plus one, plus one. Sad day for the Imperials that are all dead. Yeah. <laughs> all those Imperials on the board sure right there. now. He he's feels sure good. there. Yeah. I'll pay four for a Bright Hope. Two Pick. six Sentinel in space. That when play, they may return on you. I'm use my hand. I will not. I'll just keep that board and play. Sounds good. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use Vader. Deal one damage to your base. And one damage to this spaceship, I think. Nice. Well, hang on. No, we'll put it on Akbar, I think. Okay. I'll take the issue. You got it. New round. All right. So... Uh, we got a question. So uh, someone asked, "Why no hand size?" I'm assuming may, they may asking basically why no max hand size, something like that, for this game. Mostly because uh, it's an arbitrary thing to track, and we have made drawing cards in this game hard enough that it's and the onboard pressure high enough that it we haven't needed it, frankly. Okay, that makes sense. We also got one other question, Jeremy. Why, uh, or when a card says choose two, for example, aggression or cunning, uh, can you choose the same effect twice? No. It has to be two different ones. You heard it here. <laughs> All right, start us off. Hit your base for one, restore one. Give me that damage that I did to you. Uh, I'm going to pay two resources and play another Snow Trooper Lieutenant. This time, Veers is here, and he gets to attack, and he gets to attack with two extra power. Take it. I just did. Um, we'll, we'll play my Marine. Sure. We will use Darth Vader on home one. Not home one. Right hook. Take 
Two. And two here base. is another seasoned Shore Trooper. He Ooh. will be a very big next turn. That's nice. He's a two. He's a two three now. Technically, he's a three four now. Uh, mm -hmm. And then he'll get to be a five four. Although, Ooh. I don't Ooh. think Veers is going to live very long. That's the only problem. Yeah. How many cards do I have? Two. Two. Marine got very large. I'll put in <laughs> so that's a six six marine. Okay. Yeah, plus three plus three and uh, cannot attack bases now. Interesting. Uh, I'm gonna take the initiative because I really need to deal with that marine a lot. Draw two cards. Ooh, interesting. Very interesting. Well I gotta resource one of these. It's gotta be this, I think, because I'm gonna need this later. I have to decide how important General Veers is. Because I can deal with the Battlefield Marine to protect Veers, it'll cost me two cards, or I can take a risk to kill the Marine that may not succeed. I, and if I don't succeed on killing the Marine, then the Marine will kill two, to, two of my units. So either way I'm down two cards. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to decide how this is going to go. Uh, this shore trooper is going to shoot very precisely at your battlefield marine. Uh, this is an event that says attack with a unit, it gains saboteur, which means I could dodge sentinels. Uh, if it's a trooper, it gets plus two, plus zero. So I'm going to deal seven damage to that three, that six, six. But unfortunately, it's going to deal six damage back, and my unit will die. Uh, it cost me a card out of my hand and a unit in play, but if I didn't do that, it was probably going to cost me two units on the board, so, you know. Here comes... Yoda with Sentinel. Ooh. A Sentinel Yoda. That is a 2-4. All right. I... Blocking the way. I'm not afraid of Yoda. No. Even a little bit. Feeling good. Um, I will attack Yoda with this 3-3, three, three, because it is buffed by Veers. Um, I will take two damage back from Yoda. Attack me with Admiral Akbar, I dare you. Attack me with Admiral Akbar, I dare you. <laughs> After all, you can't let him stay on the board, right? He's mm -hmm. a whole 3-3 three, three for two. Uh, we can use this as a sentinel token, too, to let people know. Sure. Yeah. Same. You can yep. put it on. Put yeah, it on reminder. Yoda. Don't worry, Yoda's not going to live very long. Uh, here comes an Imperial Interceptor. Uh, when I play it, I get to deal three damage to a space unit. Take that, Bright Hope. This is a 4-3. Oh, the chat's calling it out, too. So we could, yeah. We'll use these reminder tokens to indicate some of the temporary effects so we know that something's going on there. Uh, yeah, those are, I think, just general use general reminders. General use reminder, yeah. So if you have something that's temporary or you're like, oh, I want to remember that something special is happening with that, it's perfect. I'm going to take two damage on my base. Uh, and now I'm going to pay one resource and use Vader to defeat the Sentinel and deal one damage to your base. I'll choose to draw a card. Vader is very important at just keeping my momentum going. Because if I ever fall behind, that's it, we're done. Uh, we did get two questions that I think we could answer real quick. One of them is, uh, when you take the, uh, who takes damage first from the Sabine leader action? If both, both players are at one life, and the is the game a draw? <laughs> uh, or do you choose? Uh, the answer is it's simultaneous. Yes. All right. I forget exactly. Uh, I'm not a decision maker with regards to tournaments. So that is a separate question how a tournament will handle the fact that it is a... It is simultaneous, though. So yeah. that is yeah, a good thing But it know. is simultaneous. If you're at home, it is simultaneous. Six, seven, eight. That is a four health Bright Hope. I will seize the initiative. 
Excellent. Someone also asked about the initiative and why you went with someone taking the initiative rather than just alternating between players who gets to go first each round. Oh, because it's more fun. It's way more fun, right? Yeah. That's, that's the answer. Uh, we're resourcing to seven. Gives you something to race for rather than just wait. Um, I There is an argument that I should have attacked with Veers there, um, but I want to have the agency of what happens to Bright Hope um, because if Veers dies, then this Interceptor can no longer defeat the Bright Hope. So my first action will be to attack this four power spaceship into that four health spaceship to guarantee that the ship dies on my, uh, on my terms and not my opponents. Here comes a ground sentinel. It's Yoda. Yoda. Everyone's favorite. Just keeps uh, showing up. Veers has been doing great for me, so we're going to give him two experience with a tie advanced. Oh. Big Veers keeping everybody beefy. Hey, that's the plan. Yeah. Yeah, we got a whole trade out of the deal. Uh, you do get to heal one, yep. Um. I am going to uh, defeat Yoda with Veers. He has five power and you have a lot less than that. A control deck has far too much life for my liking, but I have one very important card. And uh, our leaders are about to come out. So the big question is how can I get through Chewie? Yeah, that, that is, is the that big is, question. Yeah, that's what you should have been thinking about from round one was, okay, what do I do about Chewie when he shows up? Don't worry, I have been thinking <laughs> yeah. about it since round one. <laughs> yeah, Chewbacca is scary. Nine right? health grit sentinel is oh. a beast. He, yeah, what, what can you do? Because I, I can't defeat him in one attack, which means he's going to have to come out, I'm going to have to deal with him... Uh, Whatever I do second is going to be dead, probably, mm -hmm. is the short answer. Is it time? Sure. It's time. There he is. Chewbacca's entered the battlefield. So has Darth Vader. Ground arena. Uh, I have seven resources, so Vader can deploy. Uh, he, has, he has five power, eight health, and when he attacks, he deals two damage to a unit. But I don't really want to do it to Chewbacca for obvious <laughs> reasons. <laughs> Now, do you have another wing leader to buff your other wing leader? I do not. Nailed it. The chat says I need maximum firepower. That's too expensive for me. I'm not running around with maximum firepower. I have force chokes for that. Yeah. Maybe it's not enough. We'll find out. <laughs> but that's what the force chokes are here for. Chat thinks I have an upgrade that can one-shot Chewy. Oh, I guess yeah, Vader's lightsaber. Vader's lightsaber. Yep. Sure. sure they sure. know you have an upgrade. I have to the one deck. Vader's yeah. lightsaber. It's just there for the off chance that I have it the turn I deploy Vader. I don't want it most in most games. Fair. But every once in a while, yeah, you have Vader's lightsaber and you have Darth Vader, and it all works out. Yeah. Yes, yes, Veers is annoying, he says. Would you like to attack Veers? Vader might shoot down my wing leader, so. Okay, so I want to get value out of it now, so when Veers dies, that will also die. Oh, you'll trade with the. Oh, well, not yet. Maybe you attack the tie advance, though. Yeah. yeah. Well, Veers keeps it in play. Oh, Veers right, keeps it right. in play, yep. Thank you. Uh. Um, I mean, I didn't come here not to. Uh, when Vader attacks, he deals two damage to a unit. I will deal it to Chewbacca, and then I will take four damage back from Grit. Oof, that's a, that's a big Chewy. That is a big Chewy, and Chewy's probably going to hit my base for a lot of damage. Um, five, six, seven, eight, so he has one health left. Yep, that's it. The that's, question is, yeah. is Chewy going to trade with one of my units, or is Chewy going to... Yeah, that's, that's Vader gone. Put the or... damage on my base. Yeah. 
knowing that Vader can counterattack yeah, next turn to kill Chewbacca. Knock Chewie out, so... Let's... And what if the card in my hand deals one damage to a unit? It doesn't, but what if it It'd did? be really, really <laughs> dead. <laughs> This is where I want Vader's deployed side <laughs> and his, de or sorry, his leader side and yeah. his deployed side at the yep. same time. Giving that up is a real cost. All right, what do we got? Shoot Veers for two. Admiral Ooh. Akbar deals two damage to Veers. Can I have some ones? I got all the, all the ones on this side of the table. Um, I am going to seize the initiative. Yeah, I'm going to knock Vader out. Knock Vader out? You got it. If our seven deploy leaders trade with each other, I think I'm happy with that. Yeah. All right, we have a couple questions. So someone asked if Mill will ever be a strategy in this game. I mean, it seems strategy, inevitable, yeah. right? Is, this, yeah. Yeah. is it a good strategy? We'll see. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. And then someone also asked, uh, have you considered leaders that can deploy in space? You can just answer it generally. Have you considered it? Consider it, yeah. Can, can, can we talk about it more? No. Okay. Then we've, then we've considered it. <laughs> yeah. You've considered it. Yeah. Uh, Veers is going to do a punch Ooh. for five damage on your base. All right. Bringing his base down to 20. Because Akbar is going to kill Veers now. Yeah. Still one. Uh, and that defeats my tie advance that is also in space with two damage on it. Yep. And now I get to play everyone's favorite card. It's a one mana, one cost three one. Yeah. Someone also, or in case you were watching that, yeah, since Veers left the battlefield, yes. no longer uh, buffed on the tie advance, so he had two damage on him, meaning that he was immediately defeated. Two damage and two health equals dead. Um, he was only staying alive because of Veers. Yep. I was a big boy, home one. Seven, seven space unit, restore two. Uh, each other front unit gains restore one, and when play, I can return or play a, a hero unit from my discard pile, it costs three less. Uh, you know, I love, well, Akbar to shoot that. I was gonna say, you wanna just but, do a do a home one Akbar defeat my unit combo? I could. I also love Yoda, just getting more card advantage, so. I will go, well, let's. Yeah. I think I am in trouble. Let's just go ahead and. Defeat. Little did you know, Jeremy. That's a nice home one you have, but little did you know that yeah. I am, in fact, its father. <laughs> I created that ship when I was a small child. Wow, that's impressive. Like, that's yeah. a lot of work for one, one child to be doing. Or do you just direct people to be creating it? Excuse you, I built it with my own two hands ah, yes. in the sand. In the sand. That now I hate. <laughs> they do like get home one brought in. Cars. Yeah. Flavor points. Um, that's actually... That's tough right now. Hmm. You only have one card in hand? I have one card. This game is potential. You don't have much answers for that otherwise, I assume. I don't know your deck that's that well, but it's going to be tough to get rid of that, so. Hmm. That's actually a. Yeah. Nice player now. Only one card in hand, so. What could it be? It's another I'm your father. I'll draw, draw three cards, and then it'll be another I'm your father. Then I'll draw three more cards. <laughs> oh, gosh. Because that's what's going to happen. Yeah, yeah, just keep I'm your fathering until you have a full hand. Hey. I'm going to say no. Great. Oh, I'm going to draw three cards. Oh, no, yeah. No. No. <laughs> Home one wants everyone to know that. I'll take me sure. You got it. Uh, I'm going to pay... Two resources. Uh, so Jeremy can't take any more actions, uh, so I'm just going to put all my stuff on the table. Um, here are two TIE Fighters, and I'm going to use Darth Vader's ping on home one. And your all base. Right. Uh, the TIE Fighters are 2-1 spaceships that have no text. Uh, they're just in there to be cheap spaceships for when I need to fight in the space arena. Ooh. Well, this deck never resources after seven, so... I'm going to keep all my cards. Never? Not even once. <sighs> Most expensive card in my deck costs four. <laughs> That's, what if you want to play two of those, though? Then I won't. <laughs> then you won't, okay. <laughs> i got to keep up the gas or I'm just going to lose eventually. That's true, yeah. You better 
Better hit the pedal right now. Because home one's going to come in here with restore two, and that's going to hurt a lot. Yeah, that's that's tough. Um, yeah, let's shoot for seven. Uh, five, six, seven. Uh, two fives becomes a ten. Oh, it's a little bit farther away than I would like. Um, we're going to intercept home one. This interceptor deals three damage to a spaceship. On You've got way. a spaceship. Shipping away. I couldn't get there with I'm your father, so we'll get there some other way, I guess. Um, attack your base for one, and restore two. Restore two? Oh, geez. Uh, these are all going to become a five for simplicity here. Uh, home one has three health left? Yep. Great. Please deal it one damage and then one on your base. Ooh. Mm. This is what Vader's good for. Just making sure that eventually everything dies. Uh, yeah. Someone asked, can you hide the number of cards in your hand from your opponent or is that public information? No. That is public information. Public information. You cannot do that. I'm just going to say no and then let them try to figure out what I meant. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No. no. Good luck. Uh, for a third time, here comes Yoda. 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 He's got Sentinel. All three Yodas. That's uh, awesome. This TIE fighter is going to do that thing that they did in Return of the Jedi, um, except instead of an A-Wing and the Executor, it's a it's TIE fighter and home one. one. Yeah. And I'm going to go smash into it. Uh, two damage plus five is seven. It dead. Two, three cards? Three cards. I really need some better cards, though. Yeah. I'm going to be honest. Yeah, I saw your hand. It's... I'm going to be honest. It's kind of rough. <laughs> it's tough out there. Well, probably should put his last action in a while. Let's just get him out there. Oh, sure. Because of the uh, uni being defeated? Yeah. I'll attack your base for two. Taking a shift. Uh, this Imperial Interceptor is going to keep fighting. Nice. Uh, this is an event. Uh, yeah, we can put that one up here. Yeah, we should put it up there because we just previewed it. Somebody else just previewed it, what, yesterday, uh, this morning uh, maybe? Yeah. Uh, this is a two-cost event. It says, ready a unit with three or less power. Uh, this in interceptor has three power. So it's going to be ready. And now it gets to punch cool art. for three yeah, more damage. I love that art. Yeah. I was like, what's a time, when so what's a time in Star Wars when somebody fights when they really just... Have to. Shouldn't. <laughs> yeah, they shouldn't, but they need to. But they need to. Everybody loves Commander Thorne. All right, new round. Draw two. Man, my trooper deck has a depressing amount of troopers this game. Yeah. It's, uh, I mean, it's doing what it's supposed to. It's just not, you didn't do it fast enough, I guess. Well, I just mostly have drawn, like, officers and spaceships. That's true, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, where's your uh, snow troopers and thing? You had one at the beginning. Uh, I had two snow troopers and two shore troopers, and they got yeah. defeated pretty quick. Mm -hmm. Veer stuck around for a while, but otherwise, it's like mostly been spaceships. Mm -hmm. uh, let's start with you got fifteen. I am at fifteen damage. Yes. Someone said your deck is missing fifth brother. He's not a trooper. He's not a trooper. Get him um, out of here. Maybe, maybe it should have fifth brother. I, I, I can see that argument. Yeah. Um, but he's not a trooper, which is why he's not in the deck. Fair. Someone also uh, asked, is that the printed power or the buffed current power of... For uh, keep for fighting? Keep fighting, yep. Uh, you're going to take down my interceptor? Shoot it down. Pew, 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 pew. Uh, it is its current power. So if you buff it be above three, you can't ready it anymore. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to force choke Callus. Make him dead. That's a villain card, so I can use Vader. So you could theoretically re-ready something with low power, throw some experience on it somehow, some way. Yes. And then attack for big. That big you can damage. do. Yeah. Uh, so Vader, I played a villain, so Vader, we're gonna choke out the Arc 170, I guess. There you go. <sighs> Demoralizing them and losing the ground fight. Yeah. The Akbars and Yodas are getting you. They sure are. And here's C-3PO with Sentinel. One play on attack. I can choose a number. Reveal the top card of my deck. It's that number to draw, but... 
Choose eight, I dare you. I didn't lose, look at this deck that well, so I ain't sure the odds. Um, there's gonna be a lot of twos and threes, so let's go mm -hmm. with, I'm feeling three. Eight or bust, eight or bust. <laughs> He's got home ones and redemptions. That's true, yeah. So like, hey, there's only four left. Uh, we'll make the trade. My TIE Fighter into your ARC-170. Take your base for two. And you'll heal two from your base with Restore. Uh, I'm going to play the world's saddest volunteer soldier. It's just a 2-3 with raid one on the ground. I don't even get to play it for two. That <laughs> and that does matter with this card in my hand. Yeah, that's... <laughs> oh. Give me the initiative. I gotta do a, I gotta do something. I gotta do a punch. We're gonna draw two. Guess what we're gonna do? Not resource. Not resource, as always. Once you're past seven. Them's the rules. We stay at seven. No matter what, those are the rules. Yeah, that's an uncomfortable amount of restore on your side of the board, not gonna lie. Mm -hmm. Your units can't attack my volunteer. Can't defeat my volunteer soldier and probably aren't going to. Uh, so we're going to start things off with this 4 3, I think. Uh, it's a 2 3, but if I have six or more resources, it's a 4 3, which it is. Good job, Great. Short Trooper. Yeah. Here's all my legions that I said I was going to have. One. One. I'll go with two this time. I am actively losing momentum here. Here is a First Legion Snowtrooper. While it is attacking a damaged unit, it gets plus two, plus zero, and overwhelm. Good thing Vader damages units. But uh, there are no damaged units, so he's yeah. just a two three. He's just a guy. Ugh, I hate it. All this damage I did to you is going away. Going away forever. Uh, 3 plus 5 is 10. You got that 10? Yeah. Nice. Uh, now, now. What are, you, what are you thinking? General Tag has arrived. Oh, there he is. And he gets to put an experience on three troopers. Nice. Plus 1, plus 1. Those guys are a little more menacing. Now right? they're yeah. big. Problem is, is it enough? And the answer might be no. <laughs> <laughs> You're up. Mm. How many cards do you have in your hand? Like yeah, four? Three. Ugh. And one of them is going to be a redemption. I just know it. Take down the soldier. Take down the soldier. Take down the soldier. All right. Uh, I will take the initiative then. Nope. I won't take the initiative. I will use Darth Vader. Oh. Always got to use Darth Vader. Uh, we're putting it on, I don't know, Yoda, I guess. Nope. C-3PO. Nope. Akbar. Final answer. You're up. Takedown on my three drop. Feels good, man. Yeah, that's it a good trade. Well, yeah, like, you don't really have many better targets. <laughs> Another oh, one! Oh, yeah, there we go. Vanquish. I'm okay with these these trades. My your two drop, my two drop for your five drop. Now I'll take the initiative. Your base for, for one. one. Yep, you did it. Fast. Draw two. Everyone say the words. No resource. No resource. <laughs> I'll take your advice. Oh, you're not supposed to. Yeah, you should just keep resources. Is what Tyler wants. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, for my first action, General Virus has returned to buff the team. Oh, man. This snow trooper is now a 4-5, and tag is a 3-3. Three, three. Virus will get vanquished. Virus is going to get vanquished. You know what? Nice. Fair. I deserve that. Um, I am going to play... Chewie can give anything Sentinel. Is this going to matter? Honestly, probably not. Wait. Oh, I played Veers. First things first. Um, we're going to put a damage on you. And a damage on your base. Nice. And then we're going to have another takedown come, come my way. Yep. Guaranteed. No. 
Yes. Vanquish. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. Uh, Wrong. R2 has Sentinel. R2 has Sentinel. I knew it. I was right. Um, combo. I did, yeah, well, that's fine. You cannot use their combo. Uh, good thing this precision fire gives me Saboteur. So this snow trooper is going to shoot Yoda, because I, I get to ignore R2-D2. Uh, that's two power, plus one is three, plus two is five, plus two is seven. Uh, seven minus three remaining health is four damage on your base, and Yoda is defeated. Wow, that was a big hit. Only snow troopers are so precise. Only snow troopers. Only imperial snow troopers. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that line from A New Hope? Oh gosh, yeah, that's a classic. Who could forget? Yes. Wait, why oh, is R2D2? No, 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 yeah, we've like Yoda. I will choose a draw card. Ha ha, now you don't get to use C3PO. Listen, I'll take what I can get. <laughs> Yeah, let's see what I find. It'll hit one on your base. Um, you stick with two. Okay, that's two. Uh, not that one. Nice. Uh, Tag could attack R2-D2, but I think it's more important right now to have the initiative. So, well, no, you have Akbar and three resources. It's probably worth it. Um, throw some damage on R2 and one on me, please. On you? No, <laughs> yeah. not on me. On Tag, my general. He weak. Yeah, let's make a Akbar go to the gym. There he is. He can't attack bases. Which does that matter? I'm gonna oh, claim might. the initiative, and then you're gonna defeat my snow trooper. Store one. Yeah. Uh, you take three back. All right. This is not looking good. Yeah. This is. You're holding on. I'm trying. But can can you finish it off? I. I don't know. I don't know either. Those uh, vanquishes and takedowns are pretty nice. Pretty nice no, at time. No, those are not the cards I care about. No? The cards I care about were the home one and the Yodas. Oh, yeah. The Yodas right. are the problem. Cause home one was pretty gross. Home one was quite gross. And the, yeah. the, the thing I'm most concerned about is the fact that that's the only home one I've seen. And, and I know there are more home ones and, and more redemptions. redemptions. Yeah. Only one more home one. Only one. Only okay, one. that's good. There was only one, one home. Um, this snow trooper lieutenant is going to tell Tag to shoot good. Uh, when I play him, I get to attack with an Imperial. Tag is going to shoot, and uh, he gets plus two power on your base for a so total of four, four damage. damage. Hit your base for one. Trigger R two to take the, a look. The droids are going to keep working. Yeah. Uh, this soldier is a volunteer. He costs two. Very nice. They cost two. I'm actually not sure what the gender of this trooper is. Hmm. Nope, it's a femme. She. Tef, base for one. On attack. Three. Nice. Nice. Oh, that's trouble. That is trouble. Good thing that Akbar can't attack my base. I mean, you can eat your units though. Um. If he does, he dies. I mean, if he if he does, he dies. Them. If he experiences, oh, all of them. Oh, yeah. I deal you one damage. There we go. Throw some now, if he experiences yeah, them, then, then, then that's a different story. story. Yeah, whole different ball game. Swole Akbar. Swole Akbar. <laughs> five remaining health on base. Five mm -hmm. remaining health on my base, which means I'm probably gonna lose. Honestly. <laughs> there it is. There's the there whole one. Uh, who are we getting back? Is it Yoda again? It's freaking Yoda it's again. Be four times. It's yeah, play Yoda. Yoda four times. I, I feel like that's such a fun play. Or I guess Akbar's not. Or Akbar's in play. Yeah, you could defeat him though. And uh, you asks, right? could, but yeah. with the entrenched, I'm dubious that that's a good idea. Yeah. Yep. Oh well, I'm gonna bring you go back four times. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> yeah, might as well. Playing Yoda four I've times. I've tried to defeat that Jedi Master so many times, and he keeps coming back. Yeah. Every time just I think he's dead, yeah. every time I think he's dead, he's just on a different corner of Dagobah. <laughs> I gotta go hunt him down. Uh, I'm gonna take the initiative. Uh, Show me what Akbar does. Nothing. I'll just pass. I'll just 
time soon as game over. Do you have any hurt in death that can deal with home one in a single action? I do. Do you have it? I do. All right, let's see it. <laughs> I am your father. Well, of course. <laughs> I'm going to draw three cards. Yep. And then I'm going to lose the game. All right. That's Great. it. Good game. See so yeah, how late game works. You're going to survive long enough. A lot of restore. Clearly, I don't know how much I healed that game, but it was a lot. Yeah. Yeah. That was what? Four Yodas, three, probably three or four attacks with Yoda, plus. Akbars. Several Akbars. Home one. A home one. Yeah. That, I mean, realistically, it was probably like 12 health. Yeah. Like that's, that's huge. Which would have been. I mean, there was Just exactly 12 health left. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, no, 13, 13 health left. 13 health left, yep. So that's close. That is a really close game. Yeah, yeah getting these two together is also a nice late game. Yeah. Art. Make sure you draw your home one. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, drawing that home one was very nice. No, no, no redemptions, though, but they oh. do, so that's fine. Yeah. Good. So we'll clean this game Good. up real no quick and uh, get ready to rock into game two. And game two Jeremy, I'll let you, uh, you know, chat about your deck first. So who, who are you running today? And my boy Boba Fett. Boba Fett. All right, let's throw that deck list up there. And now, and now, see, you know what the secret of that game was? What's that? If I won, I could have been like, look at how good my Vader deck is. I'm yep. such a good deck builder. Yep. And if I lose, I get to be vindicated. Look how good Chewbacca is. <laughs> I keep saying Chewbacca's good. There you go. It was a no-lose situation for Tyler. <laughs> yeah. Uh, here's a double yellow Boba Fett versus red yellow Han. All right, so this Boba deck is a... Uh... Double cunning. So I chose the uh, Jetta base, Jetta City. It's got a really good epic action to help try to uh, control the board. Okay. And also, double cunning lets me play the card cunning, which is incredibly strong. As well as uh, a card I believe we haven't previewed yet. Yeah. Oh, actually, a couple we different get cards our, in here. There's a bunch of cards in these decks that haven't been previewed yet. Um, yeah, so yeah. Let's, uh, let's chat about those uh, in take, order. Take them out of the sleeve. Yeah. Uh, so we got Bodhi Rook, which we can throw up on screen instead of uh, doing the top down. We have him ready to go. So Bodhi Rook. Yeah, here's a, a new card to talk about, an earlier one with a double cunning aspect. Uh, he's three cost. Uh, Imperial Rebel, three power, three hit points. Uh, when played, look at an opponent's hand and discard a non-unit card from it. Uh, so it definitely shows up yellow. They like to, you know, like their cunning, trickery, that kind of stuff. They can infiltrate uh, your opponent's Hand, so we can look at the knowledge on that, and then yeah, if there's you know there's plenty of very strong non-human cards in the game. You can just choose one and discard. So all those overwhelming barrages, <laughs> how many times he's discarded one of those cards is, is amazing. So yeah, he's just a really efficient unit that can yeah make it difficult for your opponent's uh, resource. Mm -hmm. It's been very interesting playing against them. You uh, maybe resource some of your non-human cards right away, so you have all units in hand. That way, if they play Bowie Bowie Rook, he does doesn't discard a card. But that's also a cost, because then they don't have Bodhi. Sometimes like, I really wish I went to research that good events or whatnot, so it can be very fun to interact with him in that way. Nice. And then this version is pretty aggressive. I'm going with more of an aggro Boba deck. Um, so yeah, just try to get some cheap units on the board, and then use cards like Connie and, and stuff like that to, you know, return enemy use to their hand, that's awesome. No good me dead, that's awesome units for, uh, just kind of put pressure on them. Put their guy back against the wall. It, as long as they got some cheap units in play, they can use all those cards that can you know, generate tempo by exhausting and returning their units to their hand and just keep attacking their base for eventually until you get Bobo into play himself and they can help uh, ready resources by uh, returning units to my opponent's hand to defeat them to help me play them more units and try to really take control of the board. And, and JSC can help with that a lot too. Where, uh, it's a really good base to be able to. Give minus four to power to enemy unit, and then you know, just at worst case scenario, we can attack into my base for less, and then a lot of times I'll attack and trade into that unit, so and not take any damage back. Nice. He's got a couple more preview cards. Yeah, we got a couple more preview cards. Uh, there's one more in this deck. Uh, there's two. Yeah, more so I think we have Cartel Spacer. We can oh, pull nice. that one up. Should be a new one, I believe. I'm as assuming. Well. I'm assuming the other C one is. Yes, it is in that deck. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, for full spacer, so two cost space unit, two three. Um, when played, if you control another uh, cunning units, it's awesome enemy if it costs four or less. So it's a nice way to get tempo. And 
yeah, I think it's a very nice card for this deck. It fits the strategy of just taking your points, putting it back against the wall, uh, putting pressure on them as a, a cheat two drop two three, and then generating uh, yeah exhausting your points used to help them not fight back as quickly. Generate tempo advantage. Yeah, it's been. It's, it's not fine for one play, but yeah, it's ideally play a little bit late in the game to get that good one play ability. And there's another card. Yeah, so we have Crafty Smuggler, I believe, is the last one, and for this deck. Jeremy got all the preview cards today. Yeah. <laughs> we had none that last stream, so we covered. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. Exactly. We had to make up for it. Crafty Smuggler, very similar card. Two cost, two power, two hit points, shielded. Just a nice, solid, efficient play. Uh, switch on turn one. And Definitely get value by you know trading into their two hit point unit, and the shield will make mine survive. So I can sometimes get a two for one with the card. So just a nice, simple but solid good card. Yeah. Remember when he used to be a three one, and then that was way too good. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's uh, all the preview cards for your deck. But yeah, you were running Danny's designer deck that he put together, which is Han Solo uh, with the Catacombs of Kadera. Yeah. Uh, so uh, this is a red aggressive Han Solo deck. Um, the, the feature, the big feature is that we're going to mid-range, uh, play the mid-range late game uh, into, and we're going to use You're My Only Hope to, to do it. We're going to play a five drop on turn one. That's the plan. Yep. We can um, get a zoom in on the we'll get a You're zoom My Only in, Hope. Uh, we'll get a zoom in on You're My Only Hope, which is the feature card of the deck. Uh, you get to play the top card of your deck for, for three resources. You get to play the top card of your deck. It costs five less. Um, there's some trinket text about if your base has five health, it's free. I don't expect that to happen, but if it does, that's cool. Yeah. Um, it's got the whole package of R2-D2 and C3PO to see what's on top of your deck. Uh, but it has a couple more cards that'll help you see what's on top of your deck. Mm. Shall we talk about them? Yeah, let's throw up uh, one of them I think we have ready for on screen, which oh, is... Oh, wait. Uh, they, have oh, they already seen Ezra? Yeah, they've seen Ezra. Oh, they've yeah. already seen Ezra. Ezra also shows me what's on top of the deck. Yeah. Um, so now let's show up the spicy one for Fork. a cause I believe in. Uh, this is a card that I am personally very excited about. On the one hand, it's a three cost, probably deal four damage to your opponent's base. Mm -hmm. With no other, that's it, it does that. Does the thing. Probably. But it also lets me filter the cards in my deck, uh, on the top of my deck, so that I can more effectively hit the card that I want with You're My Only Hope. So if I can play for a cause I believe in, and then next turn, You're My Only Hope lets me play, say, Mace Windu or Han Solo, mm -hmm. uh, then we're really just off to the races. Yeah. And if I don't get You're My Only Hope discount, Han Solo Leader can also just do it. Uh, yeah. Put a resource down, flip over, put another resource down, play, home, play Han Solo or Mace Windu. Yeah. So we're going to see how this goes. Is uh. High variance, but also high fun deck. Yeah. So I do want to point out that this is one of Danny's cards that he was so excited to show off, and unfortunately <laughs> couldn't make it today. So we this get is one the of fun of cards in the set. Yeah, we get to we get to talk about for a cause I believe in. So just know that Danny really loves that card. I also really love that card because it's great. Uh, I really wanted art and that title uh, in the set for the scene when um, when Cassian gives his speech about. Yeah how he's going to do anything for the Rebellion because it's a cause he believes in. Yeah. And then everybody joins him and they all go on a suicide mission. <laughs> yeah. Spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just ruined a whole movie, but that's okay. No. All right, so that we'll get fantastic. into this. Uh, I do, ha we did have one other question from the chat that I think would be, uh, uh, oh, I guess we should throw up the full deck picture for Han Solo's deck oh, yeah, just yeah. so everybody can see Let that. Let them see what Han does. Um, but we can also answer a quick question, which was, hey, there's no, uh, for the other two de uh, decks, there was no rare base. You both used common bases for them. Uh, sure. Is there a reason why you all were going with some of the common bases? Obviously, you went with rare for your the deck you built. But yeah, Tyler, why did you go common instead? Uh, for the Darth Vader deck. For the Darth Vader deck. Mostly because it's uh, mostly because the only rare base available to me would have been the green. Um, Energy conversion, energy, lab. energy conversion Lab, which gives one of my units Ambush. And I'm not about ambushing units, if I can avoid it. Mm -hmm. Whereas the deck has the... I mean, as we saw, the deck has the capacity to grind into the late game. Yeah. I can, once I get to seven resources, I'm drawing two cards a turn. I have uh, I Am Your Father, and I have Grand Moff Tarkin to draw more cards. Mm -hmm. 
I am just trying to put as many bodies on the board as possible. Vader can finish the game off if it goes late. Fair. Right? All of these things. But if I die before the late game because I spent five health getting a rare base ability that is only mediocre in the deck, mm -hmm. then I'm going to lose. Yeah. And it's not worth trading the possibility of losing to another, ag ag another aggro deck or losing two turns before I could have won just for an ability that, while good, the deck is not built to support, really. Yeah, that's fair. So it's just, it just really comes down to what your goal is of the deck. It, it does not, you're not always playing rare bases, or you're not always playing common bases. It comes down to what your deck wants to do and what you yes. need, the timing you need, and what abilities you need access to. Yes, uh, yeah. and maybe in the future, that deck will get better when there, a different green base is printed that then does do what the deck wants, yeah. for instance. But for now. Yeah. Uh, Absolutely. I'm going to so, go ahead and draw six cards. Yeah, let's get into it. Did you start an issue? Sure. You started last time. You won the last game. Mm -hmm. I'll start this time. I'll probably not win this game. <laughs> <laughs> Do Make Danny proud with this deck. Don't let him come back and be mad that you didn't show it off on, on camera here. Don't worry. He'll be proud of me. He'll be proud of you. He'll be proud no matter of what, he's going to be proud of you. No, this is a pretty sweet hand. I don't know what I'm supposed to resource, but it's a sweet hand. Oh, yeah. Show, show the... Top down camera, real quick. We'll uh, go oh. from above. First, we gotta get the top down camera yeah. going. Yeah, we'll look away. Hi, hi top down camera. <laughs> hi, top down. There it is. Um, look at that hand. These three, these four, all set up the combo that I don't have, and then these two are the payoffs. I'm thinking that without the combo, we're just gonna play the setup game, and then he's gonna play Bodhi Rook, and I'm gonna be sad. All Good right. thing he's not going to draw Brody Rook in the first five turns. <laughs> Fair. Uh, I, That's my plan. I do think he's going to do it. <laughs> I watched him stack the deck right there. He's doing it off screen. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. <clears throat> um, one of, Bodhi Rook is a favorite of mine in the first set because he, it was, it was, it will not be often that we are uh, able to print a card that has both the Rebel and Imperial traits. That is cool. And so getting to put both of them on Bodhi was very fun and very cool. Ooh, someone asked, since you said you had a sideboard for Vader, would, was there anything that you would have switched out against the uh, Chewy deck? Uh, yes. i am be honest, it's been a while since I looked at exactly what was in the sideboard, and also, okay. no spoilers, um, because some of the cards I would have brought in, they haven't seen yet. There we go, there <laughs> so. we go, yeah. And they've seen enough cards, new cards today, right? Correct. Yeah, uh, yeah there's, a, there's one guy I definitely would have brought in, and... I'm gonna be honest. I'm not sure if I would bring in Callus against Chewie. Callus is in that deck sideboard okay. as a yeah. as a trooper. Makes sense. Um, the answer is probably. Yeah, probably you're supposed back. to bring in Callus against that because Callus eats all of the Akbars, all of the Yodas, all of the R two D twos, all of the C three PO's. Spaceships too. If or yeah, like doesn't eat them, eat but them. no, but he'll trigger off. Of he them, can right? trigger yeah. the draw cards. Yeah. yeah. But like. All of Jeremy's units, all of Chewbacca's units in that deck had four health. Yeah, that's and true. like one to two power, which is exactly what Callus yeah. wants to see. So yeah, I'd probably bring in Callus against them. There you go. Plus a couple other cards that they haven't seen yet. There. Well, let's get into it. All right. For the first action of the first game, I am going to use Han Solo to make a resource. Uh, play a Viper Pro Droid. One play, you get to look at my opponent's hand. Don't worry, you're gonna get to look at my hand too. Oh, your physical hand. Oh yeah, here. Oh, nice. That's a nice hand. Thank it you. Is beautiful. Thank yeah. you. I should be a Ooh, hand model. You should. <laughs> R2 and C3PO. Spoiler alert! I'm gonna play R2D2. There it is. I'm gonna look at the top card of my deck and I'm gonna leave it there. I will take the initiative. Cha. Spoiler yeah. alert! I'm gonna pay two resources. I'm gonna play C3PO. We're gonna say the number three. Look at that. The Millennium Falcon costs three. It's in my hand now. Nice. That is, that's fun to cheat out, both of them. Uh, and now at the beginning of the next action phase. Yep. Sorry. Han Solo says, action, put a card from your hand into play as a resource and ready it at the start of the next action phase. Defeat a resource you control. It is now the regroup phase because I am done. Yes. We will draw two cards. I will resource one card. I will ready all of my cards. Indicating that I am done. I will look at my resources. Okay. 
Uh, you are allowed to look at your resources at any time, but you probably can't do anything with them. Mm -hmm. uh, at the start of the action phase, this Mace Windu dies. Good call out from the chat that uh, Boba Fett's base, yep, is 25. Perfect. 25. First, I actually let's do uh, shoot first. And <gasps> no! C3PO. C3PO. Technically, the unit gets plus one so, uh, damage is dealt, minus units damage is dealt first. So defeated C3PO, so he doesn't deal damage back. Rip. I am going to deal one damage to your base. And when I attack, I get to look at the top card of my deck and put it on the bottom of my deck. Nice. Uh, I guess technically I can ready resource, but I can, well. Is there if I do this? Yeah. yeah. response, which we really get right away. Uh, Boba Fett says. Oh, yeah. What, oh, Boba, Boba Fett. Fett's uh, when an enemy units uh, leads play, I can exhaust Boba Fett to ready a resource. Bye bye, C3PO. So basically, Hello, resources. shot first for free. Yeah, and then play a cell block charge, 3 3 Sentinel. Sure. It's the Millennium Falcon. It's ready. I'll take initiative. I'll deal three damage to your base. That's it. We're done. We'll draw two cards. We will resource a card. We will be uncertain what I'm supposed to do about the cell block card and the Viper Probe Droid. <laughs> Um, I will pay the Falcon tax. Uh, the Millennium Falcon enters play ready, uh, and when you ready cards during the regroup phase, you must either pay one resource or return it to its owner's hand. I will pay the one. First session, I'll just attack your base for three. Attack my base for three. Not for free, for three. I will attack your base for three. Uh, three more to your base. Five plus two is, sorry, two plus three is five. Uh, here comes Ezra Bridger, the resourceful troublemaker. Uh, when he completes an attack, uh, I get to play the top card of my deck or discard it. Nice. Um, he's a three, four force unit. Uh, that does mean he has to survive the attack because if he's mm -hmm. not in play when the attack is completed, then he can't trigger his ability because he's not in play. That makes sense. And R2 can allow you to set up so you know that you can play the top card of your deck, which is what you're looking for. Well, yes. There's a slight problem. Yes. That. Yeah. That's a slight problem. That is a big problem. <laughs> I would that's say that's even problem. more than slight, yeah. <laughs> Here comes a backup probe droid. I'm going to show you that I have black one and Leia. Black one's going to refill my hand and Leia's going to exhaust a unit. Slightly less good. I'm going to take the initiative. Um, it's slightly less good now that you have two probe droids and a crafty, crafty smuggler. Crafty smuggler. Thank you. Thank you. We got our cool little acrylic shields. I'll pass. All right, let's draw two cards. Ooh, <laughs> and resource this one. Man, not being able to attack with R2D2 before Ezra Bridger defeats the cell block guard is a little sad. Yeah. But we're here for it. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Yes. Ezra Bridger is going to attack the cell block guard. He will defeat the cell block guard. He will take three damage. He will complete the attack, and he will trigger his ability. I will look at the top card of my deck, and I will play K2SO for four resources. K2SO was revealed this week, too. So do you want to read off what K2SO yes. does? K2SO is a four cost, four power, four health, overwhelm rebel droid. Uh, but when he's defeated, he can either deal three damage to the opponent's base or make them discard a card from their hand. Relevant for making sure the game ends if I'm an aggro deck, which I kind of am. Yeah, uh, a little bit. But if I don't need to deal damage to their base, then I'm going to make them discard a card from their hand. Always good. His subtitle is Cassian's Counterpart. Ooh, and that's somebody brought up, did you pay for Falcon? I did pay for Falcon. Ah, you paid for Falcon now. Okay. Nobody, nobody saw that. I, I, it's a little late now, <laughs> but yeah, nobody saw it. Um, his name is Cassian's counter. His subtitle is Cassian's counterpart, and uh, that's all I'm going to say on there that on that subject. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's Would you like to defeat Ezra with your two-two shielded? That's a very good option. Yes. Um, do I need? 
probably wants to spend some resources before he makes one of your people leave play. Yes, that's, that's true. That's yeah. Definitely ideal, so. One of my favorite cards. Cunning. Mm. What are we doing with cunning? I'll Putting K2 back in my hand. Return K2 to your hand. All right. Um, yeah, I'm definitely from the aggro deck in this matchup, so I just want to get plus four plus so I try to end the game as quick as I can. Let's yeah, boost his droid plus four plus oh. Give him wow. give him an exclamation mark. Wait, yeah. oh wait, no, we, we have plus, these. Yeah, plus one we plus have... zero tokens. Yeah. Well, yeah, but there's four of them. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll get them all out. You'll there. get them all out. Okay, yeah. great. Do we That's have what enough? I'm here for? Yeah. Oh enough? yeah, absolutely. Amazing. And then I'll trigger Boba Fett to ready resource. Yes, uh, I will attack your base for three damage. Can slide this down. Onto the card. Yeah, onto the card so it tilts correctly. If only every game had a had a. Attack your base for seven. A game master. Yeah. Five I, plus five is ten. If you pay me enough, then plus I will two. show up to your games at locals. And, <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, and that's all I need. Make sure everything's good to go. Up to um, snuff. R two D two will attack the crafty smuggler. Uh, on attack, I'll look at the top card of my deck and leave it there. Um, and then I will delete your shield and take two damage, but you have all the ones. Throw me some ones. Bring out Boba. I will seize the initiative. I'll take your base for three. Three plus two is five. Would you mm -hmm. like to deal six more? I'll surprise strike Boba for seven oh, for. Oh wow! Yeah, would you like to deal days. nine? Uh, was it put you out before that? Uh, if you do nine damage, then I'm at 15, 25, and if you do less than that, then I'm at twenty-three. Um, yeah, I think I polish you off. Two your base. You got it. That was a big swing in there. We're going to resource to six. I will not resource. So you want to know what's funny? What's that? I have five health on my face. Yeah. I'm going to play your manly hope. Ooh. <laughs> what are you hoping for? Not that. <laughs> not, not that. That is unfortunate. Uh, I, obviously, I was hoping for Han Solo or... or Actually, specifically Han Solo to defeat Boba Fett. Yep. And what does it matter? And then you'll surprise defeat him in a surprise strike. Yeah. Surprise strike to win. Clean win. Boba Fett. Wow. Yes, yeah, that's an aggressive deck where you can, as long as I keep my units in play, yeah, just disrupt my opponent by exhausting, returning the units to hand, and, and then yeah, just chipping that damage left and right. And a little pump here or there, surprise strikes, more cunning. Oh, yeah. Cunning, <laughs> cunning, big deal. You, yeah. I mean, you had a commanding lead the whole game, but Cunning really ended the game. Yeah, yeah, that a Cunning. He, throwing K2 back to hand is, that's brutal, tough. Brutal, very brutal. But yeah, like, uh, for cards I believe in, is another card that shows out if we really, you know, hero cards yeah. matter. Um, we are definitely not all about villains. <laughs> and, you know, I love villains. We still mm -hmm. people love heroes. I love heroes too, but, but yeah, we're giving heroes plenty of love too with Red 3 and for cards I believe in. Those are both excellent cards for hero decks. Yeah. Uh, aggressive red hero decks are going to be very strong on the back of those two cards. I think. Oh yeah. Well, we did have two questions that we wanted to answer from the chat that we've heard multiple times. Which, oh, okay. uh, first of all, was why is there no flavor text on cards? We want to, you know, give the official answer for you all at home <laughs> that have been asking. Yeah. Uh, so, originally there was flavor text on the cards. Is the first answer, um, and what we found was it was hard to come up with flavor text for a lot of cards. A lot of cards are somewhat intentionally somewhat generic. Um, things like Surprise Strike, things like Resupply. They could have flavor text. The flavor text wasn't adding that much to them. And it was adding visual complexity to the card, right? Obviously, every line of text you add into the text box adds visual complexity to the card. Even if it's not text that's necessary for gameplay, your brain is going to look and see that there is text there and be like, oh, that's more information I need to care about. Um, when we changed the subtitle rule, uh, sorry, when we changed the uniqueness rule to add subtitles to the cards, because they didn't originally all have subtitles, 
we found that a lot of the things that flavor text was doing was also being achieved with subtitles. And, I mean, let's look at some of the card titles in the game. I am your father. For a cause I believe in. Uh, you're my only hope. These are iconic Star Wars lines that you would expect to see in flavor text. Yeah. But instead, they're in the card title. So, what we, so at one point, we just said, what if we just took the flavor text off entirely? What would that look like? And immediately, it made the cards cleaner to look at, easier to comprehend. They, they felt better because they looked better, because there was less going on on the card, and we weren't losing that much. All of the things that flavor text was achieving was already being achieved by subtitles on unique cards, by card titles on, on uh, events and, and upgrades. Um, and so, yes, we lost some value of specific flavor texts on specific cards. But for the most part, what we gained was the cards look better, they look cleaner, they're, it's, it's subtly less complex to your brain, and frankly, since we took them away, we, we didn't go back. Uh, it's, it's been honestly somewhat surprising and telling to me that while we have had this question come up a few times, how long have we been previewing this game? Six months? Yeah, something like that. Nine months? Oh, not nine, right? Well, since May. March? Since May, May. yeah. Oh, May. May, yeah. Uh, wrong M month. March <laughs> is next year. Uh, six months-ish? It has barely come up uh, in the six months since we started previewing the game, which is telling to me that while it is a thing that card game players are used to having, Star Wars fans, or people that aren't card game players aren't used to having, and the Star Wars fans are getting all of the value of a flavor text with the other texts that we, other flavor related texts on the cards that are already in the game. Great. Cool. Well, there's the answer for that. And I know another question that we've had a couple times come up in the chat was whether we're going to reveal all the cards before the set one drops, which I am going to just confirm now that we are going to be doing that. Not every version of every card will be revealed, uh, but we want to make sure that before the game launches that you all have a database of cards to look at uh, on our website, as well as there's other places that uh, will have them, and we want to make sure that you all have full information going into the set, and it's easier for us to do that, because otherwise there's not really a good timing between pre-release and release to do that. Uh, so yeah, you will see every card uh, that is mechanically different, but not every version of every card where hyperspace, showcase, things like that will still be leaving some cool things for you to find in the packs. So look forward to that. Uh, and with that, that wraps up our stream today. And this is our last stream of 2023. So next, next year we'll be back, the year of next release. Next year? Yeah, next year. The year of release, so 2024. That's so far away, and also so far, so close. Yeah. <laughs> so be on the lookout for our stream schedule for that. Uh, I will say now that you know there, we do have product, like we said. So maybe, maybe we'll be showing some product off on stream, open packs, doing draft, things like that. I get to hold the real card. Yes, the real this card. Is me holding a real life yes. legendary. Tyler has done that all day, actually. That I've not seen I've get any work done. <laughs> but thank you all for joining us this year uh, and for the journey up to this point. And we're really looking forward to be back in 2024 with you all. So thank you all, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye.